What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I did post a video on SDIV yesterday, so make sure you check that one out. I'm going to do Global X Super Dividend Rate ETF. This is one that I owned. This is one that I'm looking at and studying. So we're going to see if it's a yield trap or income trap. I'm going to do a dividend stock analysis. We're going to study this monthly dividend ETF. But I tell you what, I cannot tell you how much stuff has been thrown at me. I swear, when you're in graduate school, anything and everything can go wrong. People uh, that I used to have as previous managers literally talked behind everyone's backs and literally turned on us. I told you about the thing that happened over the weekend. I have friends who are pretty much not friends anymore and not happy that I'm not hanging out with them when I have to do homework and they don't get it. I have people literally that I have known over the years just change for the worst. And I'm going to tell you, you have to be strong. You have to be true to your values. You have to stay strong for what you believe in. Even though you have all this after you, you have to keep on chugging. Because I can tell you in accelerated nursing, it was rough. And I had, literally, I had people stalk me. I'm not even kidding. I had to get the FBI involved on one person that stalked me throughout the program. I had people who tried to fail people in groups. I had a nasty instructors who did not like males and literally made it clear that they enjoyed uh, failing males, students. So I had everything thrown at me. And, you know, this did prepare me with graduate school and all this, but you have to stay strong and do you know what you have to you have to keep on going and do what you believe in so that was kind of my motivation monday thing you may have a lot of things thrown at you but you have to stand strong and i can tell you a lot of you guys are dealing with adversity as well some way more than me and you guys just got to keep on going and kudos to you guys that are fighting your battles and and winning and and you are going to win so let's discuss the stock let's check this out right now that stock is Global X Super Dividend Rate ETF. SRET is the symbol. This is a very popular monthly dividend real estate investment trust ETF. Actually got the vaccine today, so I'm actually tore up giving you this uh, speech and this video. And uh, this is a really interesting uh, real estate investment trust. We need to see what's inside this portfolio we need to see what's in the expense ratio. And I can tell you uh, Morningstar doesn't like it. So that one's already taken out of the picture. Uh, the decrease in price per share and how is it doing with its dividends? So we need to look into the nitty and gritty. So let's check these guys out. So this is on the Global X website. SRETX is 30 of the highest yielding rates in the world, potentially increasing a portfolio's yield. SRET makes distributions on a monthly basis, providing a regular source of income for a portfolio. SRET invests in rates from around the globe, which can help diversify both geographic and interest rate exposure. So the expense ratio is 0.58%. So we have the 30th highest yielding rates. Now, again, you need to be careful with yield traps. So here's... Uh, the past three years, minus 7.32%. The index, minus 7.16. One year, the index was up 29.61. So there's a few things that are questionable. And here's their top holdings, which I'm going to go to the huge list of their holdings. So the first one is Chimera Investment Corp. That's 4%. Iron Mountain. Smart Centers, uh, SRU. Arbor Realty Trust, which I own. Uh, h and Real Rate UT, MGM Growth Pro, Dexis, Industrial Logics, WP Carry, Gaming and Leisure, Two Harbors, Penny Mac Mortgage, PMT. Remember, I just got that one too. AGNC, ouch. Charter, HLW, REIT. So this is one thing you can look into. See what's inside these guys. And then you can start making uh, conclusions. Do I like this one? Do I not like this one? Can I add this one? Positions Realty Trust, that one I have. IVR, I bought the dip on that. Invesco Mortgage Capital. Ascentus Real ES. Dynex Capital DX. GNL Global Net. Nest 
Yeah, Global Net Lease. Medical Properties Trust, I own that one. Armored Residential REIT. NHI, National Healthcare Investors. LTC Properties. Realty Income. They have zero shares. That's got to be a low percentage or something. And Waypoint. So you have a lot of these real estate investment trusts that are pretty popular that a lot of people own that are high yield dividend stocks. But we need to look at a few things because there's some likes and dislikes, and I'll show you why. So here's some things that we need to be aware of. 2015, it was 10 cents. 12 29 2015 it was a special looks like it was a special one right before the new year at 14 cents 10 cents 9 cents it's going down 9 cents 10 cents pandemic 6 cents 5 cents that 5 cents so again a lot of these mortgage backed real estate investment trusts did take a huge hit IVR took a huge hit a lot of these um Mortgage-backed real estate investment trust took a big hit. That is an indicator. So the dividend yield is 6.07%, an annual dividend of $0.60, cents, $9.82, almost nine eighty three. So it is kind of on the cheap side. It's less than $10. What I, what I again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only. I have a disclaimer in my description. I like QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD better. And honestly, with these real estate investment trusts, these rate ETFs, there's a high expense ratio of 0.58%. Why not just buy Arbor Realty Trust? Um, I know I'm not a fan of NLY or NGNC. and c Why don't you just buy them individually? You get a better bang for your buck. Hopefully, they increase their dividends. I know Arbor Realty Trust does. NHI took a little bit of hit, and hopefully, they'll start increasing their dividend. Physicians Realty Trust is a really good one, which I own. Uh, there's just so many good rates out there. Instead of combining all of this into one, you got to pay an expense ratio. So I'm not a fan of this right now. I'm avoiding it. I did own it, got rid of it. I was a noob investor. And I liked it at one point, but I just don't like it anymore. It's taking a lot to rebound. And I just don't got the time. I got don't have the money. And it's almost it's it's getting right there for a yield trap. It's over five percent. So it's a very close to a yield trap. So do you guys like this real estate investment trust, this ETF, this rate ETF by Global X? Let me know what you think. Again, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. And um, I'm going to probably post one Wednesday. But, man, I'm feeling the effects of this vaccine. I'm tore up. My shoulder feels like I got hit by a Georgia linebacker. And um, I, my jaw hurts. I mean, my joints hurt. It's It sucks. People are like, man, you look pale. Are you hungover or something going to work? I'm like, no. I snuck downstairs, kind of pulled off a Kramer to sleeze my way through to get the vaccine. They're like, do you have your card today? No. Do you have, did you sign up? Uh, yeah, I think I did. I, I should be. All right, get in the line. So they gave me the, the booster shot. I didn't even sign up, you know, for, uh, you know, online or anything. I, they just gave it to me. So you guys take care and have a good one.